this is a, a small clip to talk about health and safety and maybe some of the things you could look at at the moment whilst you may be quite inactive. Um, this is a perfect time for you to, to review uh, and plan for the future. So at the moment, uh, you have a good opportunity if you've got the time and the resources to look at all of your paperwork that you got, starting off with insurance, um, your safety policy overall and the risk assessments for each of the activities that you do and you can review those they should be done periodically anyway um, if you're starting off from scratch and you haven't got any of this paperwork in place anyway then there are some very good help sheets and information sheets that you can access uh, online uh, that we can provide you a link for um, the, probably the best thing to do if you if you're in that situation is to start off with your overall safety policy this is uh, basically a statement uh, saying how as an organization you're going to handle health and safety uh, look after your employees and anyone that's using your organization if you've got that in place already and you've got all of the other paperwork in place already the next thing I would suggest that you look at is to review your all of your risk assessments um, in the current climate you may have had an interesting time winding up activity that people had got booked into your organization so one of the things that I would probably look at is how how did that go was it a simple affair? Did it cause you any, uh, any problems? Have a look at a policy then for how you would actually, you know, cancel uh, or rearrange bookings. Um, another thing that may happen is that, uh, and it could be for any reason, so elections or, or local flooding or a gas leak locally, it may be that your centre would be called on for people to come and actually use it by an outside organisation. So one thing to do is make sure you've got the contacts with the outside organisations things like uh, the local police service or the fire service do you know who they are it will be someone individual that you could actually introduce yourself to so that if you do get into a situation where they're going to ask you questions about things you know who they are so it makes it a lot easier for you at the time um, in those circumstances you probably want to have a, a contingency plan in place so that you can say straight away to everyone involved um, right from the person who's going to have to open the building up to the people who are going to have to maintain it and clean it what the uh, the plan is going to be if you're faced with that without putting the plan in place you'd probably be uh, finding that everyone will be quite stressed it's a time critical critical situation so it is uh, definitely worth doing that now when you've got no other distractions you can ponder what is the best easiest way to communicate the information to everyone and to make sure everyone's in good communication Another thing to consider, particularly at the moment, is people who are going to be ill and may need uh, tasks covering for them. So another thing to, to look at is your internal communications. Are all of your contact details for yourselves internally as an organisation up to date? And are the ones externally with partners up to date? Uh, another thing to do is if any of the people that are going to are key task holders, if they're going to be ill, who is going to take their, their role on for them? And it is a, a time to think about how you would actually do that, bearing in mind that people such as your staff, your employees and the people, the customers that are going to use you are all going to be finding the situation quite difficult. So you need to be quite thoughtful in the way that you, uh, you balance your communication. So you've got the task that you need to achieve, but you've also got the people involved to achieve that task. You can't achieve the task without the people, so make sure you really look after them in the first instance and then look at the task afterwards. Um, there are lots of other resources we've got online, um, but as I say, the things that I would think about at the moment are reviewing things you've got in place already and planning other things that you can do. Certainly when you reopen up, it may not be that we can straightforward just all open our activities up straight away. You may need to reassure people, both staff, and people who are going to be potential customers coming back to your new customers that they're going to be safe when they're using your premises and that you're following the government guidelines for reopening. I hope you found this information useful. There are lots of help sheets online or you can contact us for more information. Thank you.